Hi there, welcome to PCI Tech TV, where we pass on tech tips and new product information from PCI Geomatics. We're continuing on with our Geomatica 2012 uh, automation theme, and uh, I'm here with Sean again, and what we want to look at today is PCI Modeler, which is a uh, very intuitive uh, interface for building workflows. Uh, a lot of times, uh, many of you we know are working with uh, similar data sets, so there's a defined workflow that you've uh, improved over time, you know all of the parameters and you just need to repeat it on a daily basis or weekly basis or what have you. And uh, PCI Modeler is really a very powerful way to do that. Uh, so we're going to be working with the same uh, data set that we worked with earlier. If you saw our previous uh, episode where we looked at uh, automatically uh, orthorectifying and mosaicing six CompSat images. And we're basically going to run through the exact same uh, workflow, except that uh, we're going to do it in Modeler. Exactly, and as uh, you mentioned earlier, we the, the earlier episode we, we used Ortho Engine in order to do that, whereas now we're going to be using our Modeler application to do this as a complete end-to-end -end workflow. Whereas in Ortho Engine, it's it's automated, but for individual steps. So I'm basically going to open up our Modeler canvas here, and I'm going to show you some of the ways that PCI makes it easier to build your models. So one of the things that we have is we, we provide our examples or example models for each one of these algorithms that are in this list. So I'm going to go down to our automated mosaicing or automatic mosaicing algorithm and go to load example. Now what we have here is an example mo uh, model for doing our automatic uh, orthorectification and mosaicing. So what we can do now is we can modify this model in order to generate something that would work well for us. So the first uh, panel here, we can click on it and we get access basically to all the images in a batch process. We have six different CompSat images in here that we're going to be pushing through this model and actually running the ortho as well as collecting GCPs and refining GCPs using some conditional statements or conditional methods. So in addition to those six images, we have our reference scene for collecting the GCPs as well as our DEM for uh, actually doing the orthorectification as well as the use to facilitate the GCP and refining the model. So the next step after we have our after we have our import modules is we run the automatic GCP collection. At this stage, all the orthos are going to be running individually. So one one ortho will run from the import all the way to the to the ortho stage and it will and it will reside in the accumulate module here. And then this, and then the next or, or the next image will run, and it's going to keep doing that until it's finished all six of our images, and they will accumulate here in this module. Once they've accumulated and all six images have finished running through, they will then be fed into the automatic mosaicing tool. Now, is this accumulate module there because we're doing a block bundle adjustment? So it's waiting for all of the images to be orthoed, and then it wants to apply the. Uh no, actually, in this case, the reason it's doing that is so that it can figure out the size that of uh, the image file that it has to generate for creating the mosaic. So now that we've explained this, we basically can choose the run batch model. We also have the option to run this batch process at a later time. So we're going to run this model now, and basically you're going to see how it runs through each individual module one at a time. So it's going to run through the first one with the first image, collect the GCPs, refine them, update the satellite model, create the ortho for the first image, and then it's going to do it again for the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and accumulate it all within this module until they're all complete and ready to do the automatic mosaic. So now that we have our actual final mosaic loaded here, we've actually loaded our spot reference image underneath to show that we have de uh, very nice alignment between the two images, as well as all of the individual um, or the relative accuracy of the, the mosaic itself is nice and accurate. So we have here, we have our spot image uh, underla underlaying the, the CompSat mosaic that we generated. Now we use a spot for collecting GCPs, so it's our reference image. Now what we want to do is make sure that the CompSat mosaic properly lines up with the spot image that we collected the GCPs from. So if we toggle the CompSat image off, we want to say focus around this road area just to make sure that there is very nice alignment between the two images. And as you can see, it's nearly perfect alignment between our CompSat scene and our underlying spot reference scene that we used for the GCP collection. Well, thank you very much for uh, watching this episode of PCI Tech TV. 
Uh, we showed you some of the automation capability, not only in Ortho Engine uh, in a previous episode, but in this episode, we tried to show you how you could do the same thing uh, using a PCI Modeler.